Hi guys, my name is Sylvia and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode we took on Deeper Shrine and got ourselves the Earth Element and what the, the Village Elder said, if we got the Earth Element we have to go back to him. So let's do that immediately. So let's go back to the Elder, to the Mushroom House. Hello Elder, we've got it. So you have found the Earth Element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Cronel. There, you will find a man named Malari. Among all the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, he will surely reforge the broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Alright. So, those were kind words of him. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder, we are in your depths. We shall head for Mount Cornell at once. Yes, thank you so much. Alright. So, now we are in a different part of the Minish Woods. And before we want to grow, we want to head into this little house here. Talk to this little Minish. Green clothes and a mystical hat. Sir! Would you by chance be Sylvia, the one who found the earth element? Surely you are. I have heard so many tales about you. Uh, it's been 10 minutes. Not even 10 minutes. Since I've had it. So, wow. Goes fast, the story. I am Bellari, researcher of antiquities. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. And he gives us the bomb bag, so we can actually carry 10 bombs now. And there are already 10 bombs in it, so we can blow up some stuff. Thank you. Alright, so now we want to grow. There we go. And uh, destroy these patches of grass here. You never know what's under it. Never know. And what is this? What is this? Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hmm? Wah! It blew up? Hey kid, look at where that stone used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why that must be? Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. What? I totally didn't understand what he was talking about to be honest and we fi found five bombs I know we are stuffed with bombs but uh, it's good to know that we can actually find them in, in grassy areas so that's a good sign all right so we can test out our bombs here there we go got a shell for it we find a lot of shells to be honest and uh, be careful, this is a new enemy, this is a spiny beetle. And uh, spiny beetles can hide in grass or under rocks. And uh, they attack at the last moment, so there you go, that's exactly what I mean. You take damage because you didn't expect it, and it just came out of nowhere. So uh, let's bomb this wall right here. I see some new enemies up there, but we are not there yet. And this is a keys. It's just a bat, but they like the name Keys, I guess. Another 20 mysterious shells. Wow, it's going good. Uh, let's see. So, this is a new enemy. This is a pea head. And the only way to kill it is to get your, your gust jar and just do that. Oh, I got them both. <laughs> Great. Alright. So... Uh, we can actually bomb this right here. Why not? There we go. Oh, we got three shells for it. Wonderful. Kill these echo bandits. Want a heart? Thank you. Alright, so now we are in South Harrow Field. Everything is open now for us. Um, before we go to Harrow Town... I want to do something and I walked completely the wrong way. Excellent. 
Well, we can open stuff up now, so that's great. Um, it's actually here. Here we go, another one of those obelisks. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hey, that stone obelisk crumbled, and there's another of those marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. It's the second time. Stop overreacting. Oh boy. Alright, so we did that. And now, I want to do something else first. Go down here. And just open up this wall. There we go. And it's a fairy fountain. It's good to know that there is a fairy fountain so close by. You found a fairy. This reliable ally will replenish your life energy. What I always do is keep them in bottles. But because we don't have any bottles yet, we cannot store them. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's go to Harbour Town. Let's see what's going on in here. That looks funny. Come one, come all. Come... See how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstone back for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you are here for your free kinstone back, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they are free for all kids right now. I'm a kid. You got a kinstone back, you can now carry kinstone pieces with you. Press start to view its contents from your quest status screen. Alright. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusing. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. That's a lot of kinstone. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Use D-pad, choose a kinstone piece and press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all of that? I did. Then stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse kinstones. Alright, let's try it. Yes, yes, that's it. Press L, then you can see the kinstone screen. Alright, so this is the kinstone piece he put in our bag and he has the, the same piece but then the other half. So that means we have one full kinstone now. And uh, let's see what's, what will happen. We just walked past that. And now it's open. So. We can check that out immediately. A perfect fit. That means we are both due for a little happiness. See ya. Alright. Look at the kid with the bugger. Love it. Alright. So now. Uh, we want to check out that. That tree that just opened up. So let's see what uh, what's going on. A piece of heart. This is piece of heart number five. So we are doing great here. All right. So uh, that's all. So let let's go back to uh, to Haru Town. There's nothing much we can do here for now. So let's go back because there are a couple of things we can actually do here. And I want to start with this house right here. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Yes, please. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? I think I do. Haha, -ha, very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. You can do so. I call this the swift blade switch rule technique of training. Watch this, earn switcheroo! Alright, that's the spin attack. Phew, now you must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button. Build up enough power, then release your destructive might. 
That's all there is to it. All right. There we go. Yes, fine work. You are a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You may view it anytime from the quest status screen. Yes, so we learned the spin attack and we got ourselves a tiger scroll and it's the first of the eight. So uh, yeah, we have a long way to go. This is the first sword technique you've learned from Master Swiftblade. So thank you very much, sir. Now, we have 98 rupees. We can buy ourselves a bigger wallet. So let's do so. Only 80 rupees for a wallet. It can hold a king's ransom of rupees. Will you buy it? Yes, I will. There we go. So we got now a big wallet. So I believe we can now carry 300 rupees instead of 99. Much obliged, my good lad. Please do not hesitate to stop by again. Yeah, you want my money, don't you? Alright. Uh, what I want to do now is remove this pile of dust. Uh, so someone can sit here and sell stuff. And uh, yeah, maybe it's it's handy for us. You never know. So let's see. There must be an obelisk here. Yes. So another one of those things. And uh, I'm not going to say what this is for. But I will say that it's, it's for later on. And it's a very important mission that we crumble all these obelisks. Alright, so... Now we need to go to another place, but as you can see, this guard wouldn't let, let us pass. So let's talk to him. Ho ho, so you've learned a spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Alright, look at this. Arrgh! Yeah, that's the one. But there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you are careful. So you have to learn the spin attack before you can... Uh, can leave through here and uh, this is a new enemy this is a Keaton it's like a fox and you need to be careful because it can dash and uh, if it dash you yeah that that's bad news then it will uh, you will lose your rupees because it will dash all of your rupees I cannot explain it too much but uh, let's go down here and bomb this wall we just need to kill it soon, uh, very quick, or stay away from it. So make sure it doesn't dash into you. Oh, a business scrub. There we go. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Yes, you want to have this. You, you need to have this, actually. You got an empty bottle. Use it to store all sort of things. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you thanks a lot. Alright, so there's nothing we can do with this platform yet. But uh, it will come soon. Alright, so we are basically done here in this area. So let's go in here because we need to go to Mount Cronel. And uh, so this is where our next mission actually begins. So you can go in here, it's it's uh, it's more, it, it's, it's information what this thing is giving you. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in a cave in the south of Troby Highlands has a handy tool. If you want to climb Mount Cronell, I suggest you go buy it from him. Yes, and that's the, the empty bottle he is referring to. Uh, as you can see, there are 20 rupees up here. Get it. Rupees are very important in this game. And, um, yeah, you see this fine. What you want to do is grab some water in your bottle. And uh, now we can sprinkle it on things. So, do this. And the Mario vine will come. And uh, we can actually head into Mount Cronell. So uh, this is something for the next episode. For now I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other series. Do anything you can to support me. And uh, hopefully see you on the next episode, guys. Then we take on Mount Cornell and hopefully we find Malari. So thank you for watching. Bye!